let's begin with what we're learning about this extraordinary athlete. How concerned are you about what she may be facing next in Iran? Look, not only me, millions of Iranians are really concerned about her safety and her situation. Let me be very clear. Her story on Instagram is called forced confessions, which many Iranians are familiar. Just last month, um, many family members of those people who got killed in protests, they were brought on TV to do forced confession and saying that our children uh, committed suicide. And now El, uh, El Naz became a hero for many Iranians, became a role model by refusing forced a job while she was competing. So that is why the Iranian regime tried to break her and create fear among other Iranians, which we call it act of terror. I mean, uh, the international federations must take action. And I want to call actually on all female athletes around the world. Now this is the time that you can show your solidarity, which is going to make difficult for Iranian regime to put uh, to torture her or uh, to put her family members in danger. I have to tell you that report says that um, El Nas brother was taken hostage, and that is why she was made to do forced confession on her Instagram page. And, and Masi, since uh, we, we spoke uh, last week, uh, talk to me about what these last six days since you and I spoke has have been like for, for the Iranian people, many of whom are, are taking to the streets in this incredible act of valor. Uh, demanding change. No, I have to say that the Iranian regime killed more than 200 people only in one month. The number is much more than this. But what happened in past few weeks, it made people angrier and more determined to take back to the streets. And what actually people are asking right now to the Western countries that do not pay attention to the wrong narrative of some of the apologists, some of the lobbyists of the Islamic Republic trying to say that if the Western countries support Iranian regime, it's kind of war or meddling, interfering. It's not. Clearly, Iranian people inside the country now asking for international committee, committees and Western democratic countries to take action, to support them, to show solidarity. And that's going to stop Iranian regime to kill more people. Still, they're killing teenagers, they're arresting schoolgirls, but the schoolgirls and other people are planning to take back to the streets again. Uh, Masi, I, I've always, you know, have such deep admiration for Iran, for, for, for you know, Persia, the, the history. It's, it's home to one of the oldest, you know, it was one of the oldest civilizations, right? The, uh, you know, just the, the Elamite, Elamites. I mean, there's so much history, culture, and, and there's so much tolerance in Iran previous to 1979. How can things change when 1979 put a freeze on so many things? That's a very, very good, uh, actually, reminder to many of those that actually have no clue about the history of Iran. Thank you so much for mentioning that. Because many people in the West, they sometimes wrong in Iran, saying that the job is part of your culture in Iran. In, Back to the history. Before the revolution, women were allowed to participate in any kind of sports by choosing whether they, you know, what kind of lifestyle they want to have. Back before the revolution, women were allowed to be judges, to be ministers, to uh, to to go to a stadium. This is 21st century. The Islamic Republic became a revolution against uh, the women, and women are not allowed to go to a stadium. Women are not allowed to sing. Women are not allowed to go uh, to international federation the way that they want to be. So this is the gender apartheid regime. And let me make it very clear. We want to call international sport federations. If it was a Western woman being kicked out, being taken hostage, being missing, and forcing to do forced confession just because of wearing hijab, what would be your reaction? You would kick out the country. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the time. They have to admire El Nas, and they have to actually uh, be her voice. Otherwise, her life is going to be in danger. And thank you so much for echoing the voice of Iranian and not abandoning us. No, no. And I mean, just the, the richness of, of tolerance and of, of a culture, Sarathustra, I mean, just so many things that, that the Persians have given to the world, and yet... Well, we see what's happened since 1979. I thank you, uh, Masi, for being with us uh, this morning.